Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this video, I'm going to give you a skill that you can not only just use this week, but you can use this skill for the rest of your life. Now, if you're a beginning investor, a lot of people tell you to do not invest into individual stocks. You need to invest into ETFs like VOO or QQQ that covers a broad range of the stock market. But in certain situations, you will hear that certain companies that you've been paying attention to are at their 52 week low. What does that mean? That means these companies have over the last 52 weeks over the last year are at their all time lows. That means the price is at the lowest it's been in the last 365 days. And a lot of people are saying, hey, buy the dip, but you don't want to just go in and buy the dip on any company. So I'm going to show you guys some reasons and some examples and some good stocks right now that are at their 52 weeks lows. I'm going to show you guys how to find good quality stocks that are at their 52 weeks lows. And I'm going to show you guys sometimes why it might actually be a good reason to buy individual stocks at their all time lows, aka buy the dip. But you don't always want to do it, so you might want to pay attention to this video. Go ahead, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that subscribe button. It helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. First, let's define what we mean by good quality stocks. These are typically stocks that are issued by well-established companies with a strong track record of finance performance, a solid management team, and a clear growth strategy. These types of stocks tend to be less risky than those issued by less reputable or less financially stable companies like penny stocks. Now, why would good quality stocks be near their 52 weeks low? There's a few possibilities. Um, some of the reasons could be that the market as a whole is pulling back, that it's, in a, it's experiencing a downturn and all stocks are being affected. Or it could be that there are issues that specific news or events that cause the stock price to temporarily drop. Regardless of the reason, the important thing to consider is whether the drop in price is temporary or a sign of a long term problem. A sign of a temporary drop that I experienced once was when Johnson & Johnson had a recall in one of their products. They had to pay back these large companies in a settlement of millions of dollars. So that news came out, bad news came out on Johnson & Johnson and the stock had pulled back like 20% within two weeks. Now I call that a temporary drop because nothing fundamentally changed about this good blue chip dividend king johnson and johnson company nothing fundamentally about that company changed at all just some bad news that came out it's going to happen to every company so when that pullback came back uh, it actually brought johnson and johnson all the way down to that 52 week lows and that's when investors like us we come in and we buy the dip because remember in order to make money in anything you always want to buy low and sell high and not buy high and sell low because you do not want to throw all your money inside the stock market when the market is booming and all of the stocks are at their 52 week highs that means that's the highest it's ever been that's not when you want to invest all of your money you could dollar cost average but you don't want to invest a large sum of your money when every company is at their all-time high you want to make the most of every opportunity and buy the dip when you see news like this come out another example that you guys could take a look at is when a, a, a pretty popular well-known ceo is announcing that they need a lend company um, once again nothing fundamentally has changed about the company but sometimes if a great ceo leaves a company sometimes the price do pull back maybe anywhere from five to ten percent and you could get a good high quality company at the dip now long-term problems will be a company having a fundamental change of the company like in most recent terms Facebook. They completely changed the name from Facebook to Meta. They changed exactly how this company is going to um, operate in the future. They put more money into the metaverse, aka um, virtual reality. So they're changing um, the fundamentals of the company. And Facebook had a major pullback, as you guys can see. So that might be one that, hey, it is at its 52 week low. But it might not be a company I want to um, dive into. So you guys always want to do your own due diligence and do your own research on these companies and exactly why did they pull back to that 52 week low. But if you do see a good quality stock at the 52 week low, then that might be a steal for you to go in and pick up some shares. All right, guys, let me show you exactly how I find good quality companies at that 52 week low. All right, dreamers, here we are on Webull. If you guys want to do sign up for Webull, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. This is the platform that I use. If you sign up, you get four free fractional shares. And if you deposit $100, you get up to 12 free um, shares valued all the way up to around $20,000. So this is a great way to jumpstart your investing journey is by signing up with the link down in the description. But 
Um, one feature that I absolutely love over on Weeboo, if you guys want to try this out, if you download it, is hit this search button right here at the top. And then you want to hit screeners. And we're going to screen out every company that is at their 52-week low. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of all the bad companies, all the penny stocks. Remember, we want to invest to good quality companies, not penny stocks that are at their 52-week low. So um, I already have some parameters on here that I already did, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set it up. You can also scan for different options on here as well, but let's do stocks. We're going to hit create new scanner uh, screener at the bottom. We want to do the U.S. region and we're going to first one we're going to click is market cap. Let's hit custom and we're going to do any market cap over five hundred million dollars to just to pretty much eliminate um, all the penny stocks that are out there. So anything under five hundred million all the way up to trillion dollar company so we're going to hit done right there so they get rid of all the penny stocks anything under 500 million i'm gonna stray away from uh if i'm building my foundation in my portfolio but <laughs> under 500 million that are my risky stocks so next thing we want to go to is the rsi indicator so we go to the technical analysis the rsi indicator is the relative strength indicator that is whether a stock is oversold or overbought and usually if it's oversold that means there's near its 52 week low so we're going to hit uh, oversold rsi 30 and then hit continue all right there we go it's 98 results we're going to hit view results and then we're going to Hit it by market cap to put all the top companies at the top. And there we go. These are some of the companies that are at their 52 week low. So let's just take a look at one. For example, Ford. If we take a look at Ford over the last year, you guys can see that they're 43. They dropped 43 percent over the last year. They had an all time high. Let's see. They had an all time high over the last 52 weeks of twenty five dollars and eighty seven cents. And a 52-week low of $10.40. So they're near that 52-week low, as you guys can see. And the one cool thing about Robinhood, you can hit the analysis button right here. Remember, you do your own research, but they do some of it for you. Out of the 23 analysis, they have a high estimate over the next year that Ford will reach to $24. The average saying that it could, will make its way back to $14.27. And the low is saying that it could drop back down to $10, which is the all-time low. There are different things on here, the growth, the value, the income the quality um you could do your own research over all of this on your own on different stocks but let's take a look at some of the top uh, stocks that i like that are oversold right now because ford is one of the ones that i like that is oversold tesla as you guys can see is also oversold but some fundamentally some things are fundamentally changing with them especially with that ceo um going back before, going back and forth between tesla and twitter so there's a whole thing there i'm gonna let that whole thing play out but some of the ones that I like at the top would be Ford, Tesla. Um, they have Rivian on here, but I'm gonna stay away from that. I like U-Haul. I actually have ChargePoint, which is one of my risky stocks. It is um, an electric vehicle charging station that I've been investing to over the years. They have a high of 46, average of 20, low of 13. So right now it's at nine dollars. So it, even for the low point over next year, it's still um, oversold or at its 52 week low. So that's another one I'm, I've been investing into is ChargePoint. Um, CVS, I actually like CVS over the last year. They are down 10% over the last five years. CVS has been killing it. If we take a look at their analysis right here, you guys can see that CVS um, low target is 100. So it's underneath that right now. And that could be another great buying opportunity. So there we go, guys. That is how I find good quality stocks. Good quality stocks, not penny stocks, but good quality stocks near that 52 week low by using the Weeble scanner. That link is going to be down in the description. Um, if you do not have that, you could get some free stocks from signing up and then you could save that screen and, and set up alerts and you could go back to it at any time that you guys want to. But yeah, guys, if you do want to know anytime I buy and sell a stock, I'm going to leave a link down in the comment section. It's going to be a pinned comment that'll take you to my Patreon, the Patreon to take you to my Discord. Inside of Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell a stock. And I also post my option trades and day trades in there. So I post my technical analysis in there. And we also have pro day traders in there that post their day trades every single day. So if you want to be a part of a great community that want to be financially free, just like you, go ahead and check out that link down in the comment section. But yeah, guys, head down to the comment section session and let me know have you bought companies at their all-time high and then end up selling it at the low or have you been successful at buying companies on the dip and riding the wave on back up because um, the only thing is is that if you don't buy the dip then your margin for profit is not as high if you bought it at the all-time high considering that it could pull back 
when you're buying at the all-time high. Because remember, guys, we want to buy at the low and buy at the high. So if you do have some recommendations of good quality stocks that are near that 52-week low, drop those down in the comment section. I can't wait to see what you guys um, find. And also, I might make a video on it if you guys suggest it. But, y'all guys, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. Other than that, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.